is uh, reporting uh, from Limpopo a little bit earlier on. Let's go now to uh, southern KwaZulu-Natal. Um, some cooler voters there are hoping uh, for a strong police presence to ensure smooth voting tomorrow. Political killings have put the rural community in the spotlight in recent months. The most prominent being the murder of uh, former ANC Youth League leader Cindy So Magatra. Incidentally, three men accused of Magatra's murder appeared in the Mzumkulu Magistrates Court today. Political tensions in Umzimkolo reached crisis levels in 2017 when five ANC activists were killed. Makaka's killing was widely condemned, as were that of other officials, the council speaker Kaya Tobela and councillor Mduduzi Chibase. It's emerged in the Murane Commission of Inquiry into Political Violence that the killing stemmed from a fight over tenders and positions. Locals expressed concerns about the tensions in the area. They say they will vote for development and employment, which they hope will bring stability. I'm very much concerned about the safety because we're not safe really. Zimku is very much high risky area. I'm concerned about my children when they're starting killing them, killing each other. But why they're doing this? Why they don't call the old people? If there's something, they don't really understand it. Relatives of Makaka said they were unhappy about delays in the politically related cases. What we want is justice. This justice must be like this. The people who committed suicide, who committed this murder, must be arrested. Uh, they must uh, face the consequences so that it must be a lesson. Umzimkulu municipality is still without a speaker since the killing of Tobela two years ago. This has had a negative effect on the service delivery at the already troubled municipality. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Umzimkulu.